check this out. Matches in general are not the best source um, of fire starting. There's inconsistencies from match to match. If they get damp or wet, they become almost useless. So I'm gonna show you something though that you can do if your matches are still intact to just extend the length of burn time and extend how much heat is coming off of the matches themselves to get a subpar tinder material burning. What I like to do is take my camp fork and I'll go in the center I put two matches together and I just basically wedge them in there. This might take a little bit of time to play around with this to get them to fit right, but just play around and you'll get it in there. You're just squeezing them in between the tines of the fork. And then I'm gonna take my last one on the other side. Now, yeah, you're using up six matches for this and the seventh one to light it, but trust me, this works very well to extend that heat source. When we hold a match itself, a lot of times it gets down about halfway and we have to let it go because it's starting to burn us up. And if we really wanna use up all the wood on here, it doesn't work out well. So um, we lose a lot of burn time. So we're gonna have a lot more heat and a lot more burn time. Um, it is marginal, but it's gonna be the best we can do with a match. Light this up. There we go. Now what we could do is just turn this over and give this time to burn, okay? We're not burning our fingers. We can hold our tinder bundle up here. You could see that flame is much better right there than if we were using one single match. So your odds of drying out your material and igniting it, much, much better. Again, downside, you're using seven matches to do this, but seven matches, boom, we have it worked out in no time. That stuff's still burning. We use the entire match. And I would rather do this and have a fire than play around with seven individual matches. So that's my match fork trick um, for today. I hope you guys like that. Again, that's not the most optimal thing. You're not going to do this all the time. But it's another thing to throw in your toolbox. And if you run in a situation, you think, I don't, man, this is not working out. Grab your fork, grab your matches, and you're good to go. This was Dan Wallach with Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Stay in the woods.